protests over some of his cabinet nominations. And tonight, a group of high school students led a peaceful protest while some of our elected leaders are speaking out in Washington, D.C., making national news. Our Andrew Dimbert is here now and has the very latest. Yeah, that's right, Jennifer Jeff. While about 100 high schoolers marched in Portland against the nomination for education secretary on Capitol Hill, Oregon Senator Ron Wyden grilled Trump's pick for Treasury. And this is only the beginning. We feel very strongly. Before opposing Donald Trump's inauguration tomorrow, this group of high school students is opposing one of his nominations tonight. Betsy DeVos is very unfit for the job of running, you know, the entire education system for this country. Led by the Portland Student Action Network, students, teachers, and others marched through the streets of downtown. Our schools are not for sale. Peacefully. This is extremely important. This is the future of this nation. Although there wasn't any destruction like back in November, there was one demonstrator who had a few weapons confiscated by police. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, Senator Ron Wyden rips another Trump cabinet pick, Treasury Secretary nominee Steven Mnuchin. Colleagues, One West was truly unique. While Mr. Mnuchin was CEO, the bank proved it could put more vulnerable people on the street faster than just about anybody else around. I have been maligned as taking advantage of others, hardship in order to earn a buck. Nothing could be further than the truth. All setting up for a contentious inauguration from D.C. all the way back to Portland. And today's group of uh, student demonstrators say they will be marching tomorrow as well, joining in on the protest of President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration. Jennifer, Jeff. Andrew, thank you. And more protests are on the way.